Hi Leo, welcome to this reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more if Leo is your moon or rising sign. Um, oh, interesting. We've got the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. So we've been seeing the Hermit upright a lot. And it's not to say that this, you know, reading is going to be continuation, but there does seem to be a similar energy here. So someone is saying, it's time for me to step forward. It's time for me to speak my truth. It's time for me to come out of Hermit mode. Wow, look at that. Eight of Wands in reverse, needing to communicate. This person has been thinking about sending you that, no, they're telling me they, they've they written you a message many times. I'm actually hearing eight times, and I know we have eight here, but that, that's not why I'm getting that. They're saying I've written it eight times, and each time I've deleted it. And this is like, um, it's it's a virtual message, you know, it's, it's a text, it's um, a direct message, it's an email, something like that. They're telling me not an email, it's like it's a text or a direct message here um, that they've been wanting to send, and they've been writing it and deleting it. The hanged man in reverse, yeah, because they've been spending too much time thinking. The hanged man in reverse, it can also be telling us that whatever the, the, the reason was that they withdrew, whatever they were thinking about or trying to see differently, they now understand, um, you know, what the solution is or, or they're seeing it differently. Five of Cups in reverse, exactly. Their perspective has changed. This person is no longer moping around or feeling sad for themselves or, or feeling like all hope is lost. You know, when this is upright, we're looking at, at the mistakes we've made or what's been lost. When it's in the reverse, we're saying, hold on, there's still a chance here. This person also feels that you are the person for them, that there is a really special, important soul connection here. So whether they use the terminology of um, soulmates, twin flames, you know, or nothing at all, the feeling is still very much there. They're, they're saying this person has, um, they've been, they've been idle, stagnant for too long. Okay, what else please? How else is this person feeling? Six of pentacles in the reverse just flew out. So if this person's been juggling or only giving you bits of time and energy and attention here and there, they're saying this is something that, you know, this is what they were thinking about while in hermit mode. Can they change this up? Do they have more time they can bring? Should they be giving more effort? And I feel they've decided, yes, they need to stop making you one of many people or one of many, um, you know, uh, things they have to do in a day. Oh, I've got to reply or I've got to speak to so-and-so. You know, they need to stop basically making you one of all the things they're doing. They need to prioritise this connection. The Six of Wands. Okay, good. So this person is going to be able to write this message to you and send it. Um, they're going to find success. You know, they're going to overcome whatever has been holding them back. Fear, doubt, feeling like they've not got the right words or, you know, I'm hearing um, they feel like they have the right words. They, it's phrased perfectly. You're going to get their meaning. They type it out and it just sounds flat. Yeah, look at this. I can see on the back we have the eight of cups in the reverse so this person pulled away physically emotionally maybe they stopped communicating and now they're coming back around i do wonder though those glasses were all smashed i wonder how many of you might be thinking it's possibly too late or they're going to have to, to say something really incredible you know to get you to open up to them again okay what else please I don't know, did someone get stung by an insect recently or um, something to do with hives? Okay, what else please? Strength in reverse, Leo energy. So it's going to take this person putting their pride aside, um, you know, coming to talk to you. Roses, white roses could be important for someone. Again, I'm getting the number eight, especially with this, this infinity symbol here. <clears throat> But yeah, this person has been acting out of pride, ego. Their life has been ticking over, you know, they've got they've got work from this time till this time, then they um, are having dinner at this time, they're seeing their family, their kids, who, their spouse, whatever, you know. Um, and they've not really sat down to make the time for you in this connection, not enough anyway. And if this is someone you're already in a relationship with, you might feel like it's really difficult to um, to have their full undivided attention. And a lot of that hasn't been because they're happy with the way they've been living. It's because of um, not wanting to let people down, not 
wanting people to think badly of them, um, you know, trying to keep up with other people's expectations or what they perceive other people to be doing. I'm hearing double denim. I don't know if, if that's someone's look, you know, sort of denim on top and, and on the bottom as well. Okay, and we have, oh, we have two. We, oh, wow, look at this. A message, you know, and, and um, breaking silence, clearing things up, letting you know what's been going on. Pisces energy here. Um, this person has been watching you. So the whole time they've been quiet or distant, um, they have been aware of you, what you've been doing. Um, this With the moon, this could be them appearing in your dreams if there's no other way for them to, to check in with you or to ask about you. Again, if you're in a relationship with this person, you might feel that they don't see you so much anymore. They're not really aware of what you're doing and they're saying, actually, I'm taking it all in but I've not been reacting to it or responding to it in the way I should have. Maybe they've been taking it for granted a little bit. For most of you, you won't be in a relationship. This is this is a connection that hasn't grounded or it's been on and off and there have been a couple of, of false starts here. Um, this person is saying, through the entire time, I have been watching you. I have been um, checking in, seeing what you're doing. Um, they're saying you're not a mystery to me. So I think what what I'm taking from that and take what resonates with you um or take it how it resonates with you this person is saying although <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> although you might look at them and think what is going on with you what are you doing what are you thinking who are you with that sort of thing this person is saying they know a lot about you and your life that you're not a mystery to them because they've been keeping up with you from a distance okay so this person has been struggling to get a message to you. There's a feeling of frustration. There's a, a realisation here of needing to get over their pride. There's a realisation, eight again, that they've got to put some work in, a lot of work with the Eight of Pentacles. You know, not like hard graft that's unpleasant, but they have to give their attention. If you want something to develop, you have to give it your attention. Um, and they're realising this. Also pride, ego in the sense of like... Um, someone who is prideful putting that aside but also their ego and pride that tells them um you have to to do this to keep up you have to do that or you're going to be looked at um badly by your friends your neighbors your family so so trying to put that aside okay so let's see what are they thinking of doing what action are they likely to take Okay, Spirit, can you please show us the person my viewer has in mind? What are they thinking of doing? What action are they likely to take? Ooh. Let's see what this is. It won't get back because it won't go back in. Okay, we have judgment. This person wants another go. They want another chance with you. Um, you see how all of these people are naked? It's like they, they, they've gone through this sort of rebirth. They've shed their old skin. And that's how this person is feeling. Um, something about this connection has really woken them up. They're seeing things in a way that, that they just didn't before. And I feel that through watching you, they've been building up courage. Um, learning seeing your strength and admiring you and trying to follow in your footsteps and it doesn't matter if this person is older than you if you look at them and think they're more experienced or you know whatever it is there's something about you that they have been learning from and admiring and trying to emulate um and i feel if i feel it's genuinely helping them it's helping them to stand strong in their own power and to drop some of these outdated facades that they've been maintaining Okay, can you show us, Spirit, what is this person wanting to do? What action are they likely to take as well? Okay, we've got the Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So this is the thing. This person wants to come running in right now, not waste any time. But you've seen this before. Because with the, with the Ace of um, Pentacles in reverse, this is someone who comes in, it's like this burst of excitement, and then they're gone as quickly as they came. So that they don't want to do this same thing again. They want to come in quickly, but they want to stay. They don't want to disappoint you. They don't want to, you know, run up to your door, knock on the door, you open it, and then they've got nothing planned, you know, as an example. So what they want to do is to come flying in. The reason they're holding back is because they're saying, well, I don't want to come empty handed. I want to have a suggestion, an offer. I want to have something to say. Um, you know, whatever the problem was in the past for you, or the blockage or the obstacle they want to have resolved that 
the emperor in the reverse this is someone who might be a bit stubborn at times this is definitely someone right now who is putting on a mask saying everything's okay um, but they're actually feeling quite overwhelmed we have the ace of wands in reverse this person isn't happy because they feel like they're um, missing out on a chance with you here They have this passion they know they want to bring in something grounded something stable and they're saying i just don't have have it right yet you know i'm always getting the feeling of someone who's planning something working towards something building something up and they're saying i'm going to be the emperor right now i'm not quite you know the emperor's in reverse and they're getting cross saying almost why can't this happen quicker why can't it be now we have the chariot in reverse on the back so feeling very overwhelmed having a lot to do um knowing they need to within all of this make more time for you and this connection we have cancer energy in aries the world in the reverse you could have been in separation or not speaking for quite some time and they know this is the thing they know it's going to take something big something tangible to to bring you back in to bring this back together because they feel whether this is true or not your person feels that this is almost over you know that they might lose you because of whatever it was behavior in the past um taking too long not prioritizing you not communicating enough with the eight of cups yeah because they walked away now to be fair the eight of cups this is when you're saying okay something isn't working i need to go on a journey i've got to go by myself um i just need a moment to figure things out and that that's fine i think the problem is you didn't really know where you stood maybe they just pulled back and didn't explain anything to you okay we have death scorpio energy and oh we have two we have justice libra energy and we have the chariot in reverse again okay so there's going to be a new beginning i feel that there has been an ending or there will be one very soon but this is good because it's bringing in balance justice truth communication here okay so what action is your person thinking of well i can see quite clearly what they want more than anything is to just come charging in but they're saying if i do that it's going to be the same as it has been before and then they're probably going to lose you because they've tested your patience enough so they're holding back the action they are taking is to build on something in the background and i think in the extended reading i'm going to have a look at what exactly it is that they're doing it could be um you know trying to move home build up finances become more independent financially maybe change their work situation um so that's what they're trying to do and i think it's going well they're just saying i'm not quite there yet they're getting impatient they wish the time was now because they don't want to lose you and spirit is saying things are heading um in a really good direction here with justice and death it's it's a new beginning that's going to be fair it's going to be balanced okay so let's see if there's anything that you need to know okay spirit can you please show us is there anything that my viewer needs to know i'm hearing sagittarius so sagittarius energy could be relevant um one of you could have it in your chart in a prominent placement oh, of course the king the knight of wands sagittarius okay so spirit what does my viewer need to know the hanged man in reverse the <laughs> oh my goodness the hanged man in reverse your person is now moving they are moving however the knight of pentacles so this is exactly it they're moving pretty slowly and honestly it's slower than you would like and it's slower than they would like they want to be the knight of wands they want to be on your doorstep now or in your you know to pop up on your phone now but they're saying no no I have to be this knight of pentacles to me the knight of pentacles he's the only knight that's fully aware and really understands the fact that one day he's going to be a king so he is laying the foundation he's doing the groundwork he's not silly he's you know people might look at him and say he's boring um you know his if you have a group of friends and, and you're like 20 he's the one that's saving up for a house while everyone else is going out and drinking that sort of thing he's preparing for his future okay so you know the good news is your person is taking you and this connection very seriously we have death more scorpio energy there 
but it says child of the great transformers at the bottom i'm not sure if that will focus um so we have a new beginning here we're getting lots of repetition which actually is good it's a really clear strong message here today we have the ten of wands in the reverse yeah you see this person feels that there is there's something they're carrying that's heavy that they just want to let go of tell me about this ten of wands please six of swords in reverse so they've got to leave something someone behind a job a way of thinking the queen of wands yeah because right now they're keeping you or you might feel like you're kind of um on the sidelines you're not the, the the main chosen option whether there's like a third party or they're choosing work over you parents over you something like that and this person's saying that you are the one they want you know you're the one that they're blown away by and it, they're, they're struggling to get to you for some of you it could be physical distance with the world and the six of swords being here whatever this blockage is though they're being very diligent in trying to overcome this with the knight of pentacles okay so i think spirit is saying you know really all you need to know here is that it's slow moving you might not even be seeing it yet but your person is putting in the work and effort to come forward and you may have felt in the past that you've been an option or some kind of um attraction they've obviously got passion for you but they've not been bringing anything else that's substantial um your, your person is saying they know they know how they've been showing up but it's not true you're so much more to them and they want to show you now Okay, so let's get you some messages of guidance and advice. So, Spirit, what are your messages of guidance and advice for my viewers, please? Okay, messages, please, of guidance and advice. The star in reverse. Wow, Aquarius energy. So if you've been feeling hopeless, if you've been feeling fed up, I feel spirit saying the only thing for you to do is to get your spirits up, whether, you know, whatever that means. Maybe it means not even thinking about this person and this connection, just doing what feels good for you. You know, that's your, your only goal here. It's not to try and feel better about this person or this connection necessarily, just to, to really be taking care of yourself. We have this queen of wands on the back. So reminding yourself that you you are incredible you know you others see you as being strong definitely very attractive physically energetically you're an incredible manifester here you have a very warm energy that draws people in so reminding yourself that you are this person also i see you being very protective about the things you're um beginning things you're growing at this time things you're you're bringing into fruition things you're manifesting and spirit saying actually that's that's a good thing to do um you know do do protect your dreams because they're important as you might well be knowing if you feel like you're in this energy here of the star in reverse there's nothing worse than feeling hopeless if if you feel like you've got nothing to hope um if you have no hope if there's nothing to hope for why bother trying to um be happy or to feel better or to exercise or do anything you know we need to feel hopeful about something even if it's a small thing um so keep going and look the magician in reverse you may have forgotten actually how powerful you are in terms of this connection in terms of your own life as well so we have gemini energy here so remember even if you're in like a third party whatever that third party is or whoever in this actual connection there are only two people two energies it's you and your person you know in this specific connection so you each have an equal amount of of sort of like power control agency it's 50 50 even if it doesn't always feel like it sometimes you know it's going to flip and flip back and forth sometimes one person has more um like the ball is in their court in the 3d and the other person maybe is more energetically aligned switched on and can manifest and it just goes back and forth but you always have some kind of um agency and power Okay, so we have the lovers, Gemini energy gain, and the page of wands in reverse. So some of you seven of um, coins are delaying because you've got a decision to make. You might be thinking about starting something new, going on some kind of an adventure here. So let's see. Oh my goodness, the Empress. 
Taurus and Libra energy, whatever this is, I feel like this is a green light from spirit. This seems like something that's going to bring in a lot of abundance um, or passion, happiness, joy, wealth. It's going to make you feel incredible. And also, you're the empress, your person's trying to become the emperor. So even if this, this thing you've been thinking of has nothing to do with your person, actually it might be, you know, in the long run, you just might not see it now. So I kind of think if you've decided no to something, but you're still thinking about it because deep down you want it, I, I do feel the chance is still here. It's really interesting that we have two snakes and look how they're both protecting the wand, you know, the, the kind of the excitement, the passion here. So I feel you've got something that you're maybe keeping quiet, something you've maybe said, I'll put it on the back burner, I can't do it now, and Spirit's saying, yes, you can, you know, don't stop um, thinking about this or trying for this, don't um, minimise yourself, if you're excited about this, let yourself be excited for it, and even if there's no way of doing it now, your excitement will draw in opportunities, whether it's people, resources, um, thoughts, ideas, you know, like um, a thought, an idea about how to overcome a blockage or an obstacle. Okay, so I think that's it for today. I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm going to do the one question, one card now. If you'd like to enter for Wednesday, please um, leave your question in the comments and I'll enter you into the draw. And I think that is it. So yeah, I'll do the one question, one card, and then I'll go into the extended where we'll have a look at what exactly your person is doing. What are the steps they're taking? What is this um, problem they're trying to overcome? What is it they're working on to try and bring to you? Um, so if you're joining me over on Vimeo, wonderful. Thank you in advance. If you're not, that's absolutely fine. Thank you for being here. And I hope this, um, this YouTube reading has been helpful. I'll be back definitely on Wednesday with messages to you, most likely tomorrow as well with a bonus reading. So I'll, I'll put a poll up on the community tab for that as well. Okay. Okay, so today's winner is Brown Sugar, who asks, why did he block me? So you were talking for a month and just about to meet. Okay, spirit. So can you please show us, can you please show Brown Sugar why he has stopped communicating? Oh, okay. Ah, we have the Six of Pentacles. My first thought is that he might be um juggling he might have other options here you know other people that he hasn't told you about um of course he could be juggling other things like work um hobbies chores i don't know responsibilities let's see let's get some more information here so spirit brown sugar wants to know okay we have the lovers in reverse <laughs> so why has he blocked her Okay, he had a choice to make. He was juggling something, whether it's you and another person or you and other things. He's made a decision. The decision seems to be to focus on this other thing or person right now. Um, and the reason is something about you and your connection is asking him to have sought to go within, to reflect, to work through something, to do some healing. And I feel he's chosen the easy way out um if i'm honest so whether he's decided to turn his attention to another person or um to to you know spend more time working or to spend more time with family you know he's prioritizing something else here and the reason is fear not because he doesn't want to to meet with you to pursue this connection with you but something about this connection is asking him to step up or to um to grow in some way and he's he's kind of resisting that at the moment let's have a look and see what he might do moving forward five yeah see five of pentacles so this is blocking you ghosting you pushing you out in the cold so i have to be honest this might take a bit of a while for him to unblock you or for things to um to, to sort of shift here i'm hearing drink mint tea <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know how that's going to help, but drink mint tea, apparently. Um, okay, seven of wands in reverse. Yeah, so he will unblock you. This is literally the card of, of blocking. Um, so, I, you know, being honest, he will keep, he will leave you out in the cold for a little while here. Then he will unblock you. 
of course it's up to you how you feel about it at that point um okay so then what happens after that four of pentacles in reverse so he's going to open up to you yeah seven of coins in reverse it might take him a while he's really he's really running right now i don't know if you're dealing with like a twin flame situation or something like that but this is classic runner behavior um i think the best advice for you would be to not chase to leave him to it um yeah i mean look the, the good way of looking at this is that you obviously have a mutually felt connection that's strong enough intense enough that it is asking him to to change not you know you need to change but as in to to better himself for himself um to to heal something a wound to release something but he doesn't feel ready i guess to do that right now and he's running um you know of course the, the best thing to, would have been to explain to you or to tell you not just to to cut you out like this um i do think he will do a 180 and come back and open up to you um but like i said it's going to be really about how you feel about him and about the situation at that point knowing that he did sort of just um run from fear i think if i was you i'd be wondering well what is it he's doing then the six of coins is it is it someone else he's, he's chosen or speaking to or is it um something like work so let's try and see i don't kind of want to leave it at that so can you tell us what this six of pentacles is please is it another person we have the ten of swords what else please what is this six of pentacles we have the four of cups seven of swords in reverse okay do you know what i'm feeling it's it's nothing tangible it's not a person it's not a job it's not a hobby or anything like that he's chosen his fear he's chosen his pain he has chosen his wound this ten of swords so whatever this is for him it could be trust issues abandonment issues all the classics anything really he's chosen that rather than pushing forward at this time with your connection so i don't think he's, he's talking to anyone else or doing anything else i think he's probably just really there's a lot of fear here you know let's take a commitment issue for example both of you meeting makes it more real so he's you know sort of the the connection or the situation is asking of him to step up his game you know um to commit in some way shape or form even to commit to, to showing up to meeting you face to face so his choices were push through you know try to find strength or run because it's scary and there's no judgment here you know we have to make sure we're ready for these things and i feel like right now he's just not so he stepped back into his wounding which feels comfortable and you know that's fine he needs to take his time but i guess he sh you know he definitely shouldn't have just blocked you that is a bit um severe to say the least so the good news is i don't think he's entertaining other people he will be back so in the meantime i would suggest um asking yourself how you feel about this do you have time are you willing to be patient you know how in invested are you um when he makes a return is there something you might need to say or ask you know just just seeing what's best for you during this time okay so on the back we have the star which is um, a lovely omen here so this does feel very divine your connection you know maybe you were brought together to help one another heal maybe you were brought together to be together but there's definitely a soul connection here okay anyway so spirit's telling me one more thing that your journey with this person isn't over right i'll try again to wrap this up <laughs> thank you everyone for watching i hope this was helpful see you tomorrow or wednesday or in the extended if you're joining me um, take care and speak soon. Bye.